So with the parka meters from the 1940s and 1950s, um, a meter maid would come by and actually have to wind this like you would a mantle clock. She'd start, she would start by inserting a key and then wind it like you would a clock. Then they would walk around to the other side of the meter and they would take out the money from the front and dump out the money. I'm rich. So what I wanted to show you was really the clock mechanism behind this. And I wanted you to see one in action before I showed you the mechanism. So if a patron wanted to park on the street, they would come up and they would take a nickel or a dime or a penny. Uh, well, I'm sorry. There are different denominations. This happens to take pennies and nickels. And you come up with your nickel and you would insert it in and then get right here on the, on the center dial. So this doesn't work like a, a parking meter that you've seen before. And it would self-wind. So now let's take a look at the mechanism behind this. So I'm going to push in a nickel and let's watch the spring advance. Pretty cool. Now that that spring has set the time or allowed the uh, time to be set, now the pressure from the other side of the spring is driving this clock. So literally the spring is running two things simultaneously. So if I zoom in here, you can see the, the poor little clock in here just ticking away. So now let's go back and let's talk about um, how it knows the difference between a penny and a nickel. Okay, so the way this is gonna work is a penny has a different diameter than a nickel. So it's physically smaller. So when you insert the penny into the mechanism, it's gonna push on this little bar and it's gonna ride up until that little bar falls off. And then it's gonna ride, it's just gonna continue its ride. So since a penny is smaller, It'll only push it up a, sh a shorter distance, which allows the mechanism to release for a partial amount of time. If I was to put in a nickel, well, then the nickel would ride up even higher until it's sloughed off, allowing this to set even more time. So that's the reason I can put in two pennies and I'll get two fractions of an hour, depending on what the denomination is. Or I could put in a nickel and I would get five times what a penny is. So I'm going to put in a penny, and we're just going to take a look and see how that works. So here we go. So that went by really fast, but I only got five minutes out of my hour, and the bar rose to about here. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and put in a nickel, and we'll watch it rise up the rest of the way. So in that case, the nickel rose up even higher and set five times what, what a penny would. Now this one hasn't been cleaned and it's not um, exactly optimized, but I think that gives a, a pretty good overview of how a 1940 to 50 parkometer parking meter works.